What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are getting into a pretty cool pop and toy haul. It's not just Squirtle, but I did pick up Squirtle recently, but also join the Box Attack Universe Facebook group. It's linked down below in the description. But yes, we have the cute little Squirtle pop. I, this guy, he's just, oh, Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. He is pretty freaking cool. Um, he's so tiny and you better believe they're probably gonna, they're gonna make a 10 inch version of this. Um, I don't know if they announced it or not yet, but that's just pretty much their thing. Every every regular sized Pokemon Pop gets a Target exclusive 10 inch for some reason. I don't know, I don't know why we need them. I guess they're kind of life size if, uh, I, don't, I don't know. The Squirtle though, he's a pretty cool looking Pop though. And uh, yeah, I think he is awesome all around. Part of the Pokemon series. Uh, we don't have other lines on the, or other figures on the back of here, uh, kind of showing off the lines, but I did pick this up. Uh, they have them at Box Lunch and uh, GameStop and Hot Topic, those kind of places. So pretty easy to find right now. Definitely go scoop him up if you're into Squirtle and uh, let's get on to the next one. All right, so here we have, you know, I'm a fan of Batman. We have Batman the Damned. And this is a PX Previews exclusive. Big shout out to Shumi for helping me get a hold of this one. If you want to check out the Batman Damned Pop, I will leave a link to Shumi below. Um, you can uh, use uh, my code and get 10% off. But they have this pop and they're shipping it now. It is a freaking cool looking box like these Batman boxes are, black and gold. I noticed that the this is a weird complaint. The cardboard, it's like different in some way than the other black Batman pops. I don't, it just feels different. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. It kind of feels a little bit um, cheaper, I guess. Like they switched cardboard brands. <laughs> it's, it's okay, like it's not like a bad thing or anything like that, but it is more susceptible to dings in my opinion. So um, when you're going after this one, just be sure to give your box a look around, make sure if you're an inbox collector and you want that minty fresh box, definitely be sure to check this one out extra specially, but he is a cool pop. Um, he's got that the silver suit on, it's got kind of a, like a metallic look to it on uh, certain parts. Pretty awesome though, I think in my opinion. Um, this is part of the Batman 80 Years series. Uh, again, I am a sucker, a sucker for these black boxes. They're just, they're just super awesome. All right, so the next one we have, this is an oldie, not not too old, but a goodie. This is Captain Cutler, uh, this glow in the dark pop. This did launch on Funko Shop originally, and I scooped it up from Pop Culture because their sticker is just, look at that. Look at that sticker, it's like shiny, like metallic-y. So freaking cool, way cooler of a sticker than Funko Shop. Um, it's got like a little air bubble in it too. These new pop culture stickers are super awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but also this is a super awesome glow in the dark pop and it's part of the Scooby-Doo line. I don't actually have any other ones from this line, but um, I'm on a glow in the dark pop binge for uh, my, my glow displays. And well, this one, this one just takes the cake. It is freaking cool and I just, I'm a big fan. Did you pick this up off of Funko Shop? I wanna know, let me know in the comment section below or if you've picked up any of these three. We do have some other stuff that I'm excited to get into though. So yeah, I don't know, Captain Cutler, I think he's pretty dope. All right, so next up we have, well, some figures here. We have uh, the Iron Man Marvel Legends series. We have Worthy Cap. And then we have the Iron Man Mark 50 Nano Weapon Set 2. This is from Bandai SH Figuarts and it's pretty freaking amazing. I'm not gonna get into all of the things with these because they can be time consuming, but I will make dedicated videos on some of these things if you like that. Maybe not some of the stuff I'm showing off now, but if you like this kind of stuff, we can definitely go down that road. This is just stuff that I collect personally and uh, also a big shout out to Shumi. I got this picked up from, uh, picked this up from their store. So you can, uh, Check out their link in the description. But wow, okay, this is this is something else. I mean, there are there are a lot of accessories in here, as you can see, a lot of pieces. And look at look at all this comes with. So, I, like this is insane right here. Uh, we do have the little blaster cannons for his arms. Um, we do have different hand poses, different hand molds. Um, we have look at that. Okay, so clearly there's a lot of stuff in here. The figure itself though, 
Let me get that out before I go knocking everything else over. Um, we do have extra uh, shoulder armor as well. Let's get the figure out. And I just dropped a shoulder armor. Uh, they just snap on pretty easy though. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Like, wow. And, and so much articulation. We have hand, we have uh, at the uh, elbow here. Obviously, his range of motion with, uh, with these little um, shoulder shields here, uh, the shoulder armor is kind of limited, but not that big of a deal, especially in this pose that he's in. Um, it is just, it's a work of art all around. Looks pretty stunning. A little plastic piece right there. SH Figures makes some pretty cool uh, figures. And I just noticed this, his feet are die cast. That's a, a really strange, uh, not a bad strange, but just a really strange choice there. Um, but yeah, this is a cool figure. And I mean, he clearly comes with a lot of stuff and I'm only showing you guys this, this stuff because these are things that I am into. I lost a party, kind of fell out of the little thing. But realistically though, there are so many poses and different things that you can do from the movie with just this set alone. I think this retails for around 80 bucks, but let me be real with you, it's totally worth it for, for what you get here. I mean, this, this is a figure right here. It does not come with, uh, with a base though, so keep that in mind. You'll, you'll need your own base for this. Uh, some of them come with the Tamashi bases, but this one does not. But wow, look at that. So cool. So let's put him back in here and uh, stay tuned to Instagram for some, some more detailed photos of when I get this set up. Let's move on though. All right, so next up we have Worthy Cap. And you might be saying, well, how is this Worthy Cap? It did the no hammer, no. It, it, trust me, it's there. It, it looks pretty cool. Um, let's just get him open. This is the Marvel Legends figure right here. And I'm gonna slide out Worthy Cap. And I will show you, I will show you behind the shield, we have Mjolnir. I can get that out. Look at that, there you go. Worthy cap, worthy cap right there. And he can hold the hammer in his hand. One sec. All right, so here you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Worthy Captain. I have him kind of posed similar to how he is in Endgame when he picks up the hammer. It's super amazing, uh, applause worthy moment there. But yeah, you can see here that the shield is pretty awesome. It's got a lot of battle damage on it, a lot of grime, and he's just, it's kind of got a metallic sheen to it as well. He's just picked up Thor's hammer and he's like, you know, in the action pose, ready to go. And this is just a really cool figure. I mean, like I, I just love, this is one of my favorite moments in that movie right here. And it is really cool to see this as a figure. You can see super detailed on the back, super articulated as well, like Marvel Legends usually are. I think this is one of my favorites though, one of my favorite pickups recently for Marvel Legends anyway. And uh, gotta get him to stand right, there you go. He's standing up, he is worthy captain. And uh, if I can get his feet right. Anyway, you get the point, worthy cap here. Pretty cool figure, Marvel Legends. I, it does come with an extra uh, head sculpt here. I'm not a big fan of it. I just don't think that it's like super Chris Evans. I mean, it kind of is, but I don't know. I, I like I like Captain America with him. I like this scene right here. So this is how he is. Uh, he's gonna stay for the meanwhile. And of course, another one we have here. So this is the Marvel Legends old school Iron Man. This is part of the Marvel 80 years series right here. And you can see we have classic Iron Man. This one is really cool too. I am a huge Iron Man fan. Um, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite characters. And just look at this. Like look at all this classic Iron Man action. This red and gold suit, oh. So cool. So obviously you can see here, I have him set up with his hand repulsor firing. And uh, this this paint job though is awesome. As you can see, it's just, it's super shimmery on the gold. Like they went hardcore on the gold paint. And I really do appreciate that. And he has kind of a little like a metallic -y look on the back. There's a little bit of marbling in the plastic, um, but that's not really a big deal. I think that this, 
This is a super cool suit. I mean, it's a super cool pose, super cool suit. Old school Iron Man, definitely my favorite. We do have a Tony Stark head in there as well, which I happen to like a lot more than the Chris Evans head that uh, came in the Captain America box. But uh, this is obviously like comic book Tony Stark, not meant to look like Robert Downey Jr. or anything. And then we do have another uh, mask that has slightly different expression on it. Just a little bit, but you get all these accessories right here, even extra hands so you can do opposite hand uh, versus, you know, blast fist if you want there. Um, pretty cool. A lot of articulation here. He articulates uh, at the top of the thigh. That is, he has a, a dual articulation at the knee. And we also do have the foot that goes back forth side to side. I don't know, just, this is one of my uh, favorite Iron Man figures that has come out as of recent, just cause it's old school classic Iron Man. Um, I do have quite a bit of Iron Man figures and pops. If you wanna see a full like everything Iron Man tour of all the stuff that I have, definitely leave the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment below um, and, uh, and I will definitely do that if there's enough people that wanna see that because it's not just pops, it's also, uh, figures and all, all sorts of stuff. I have Iron Man things all over. But uh, yeah, that about wraps up this haul. I just wanted to give you guys a look at some of the things that I picked up recently. And if you would if you enjoyed it, if you'd enjoy it, either one, if you do, hit the thumbs up button. And also, big shout out to all the folks over at Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. Really super awesome people over there. Thank you so much for being a part of everything, getting pop sent to you out of my personal collection every month. If you wanna find out more about the Box Attack Army, I will leave a link in the description for you as well as a link to the Box Attack Universe Facebook group. Whew, that was a long sentence, but wanted to just, you know, just boom, rush right through it. I, I appreciate everybody's support though. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.